So, what are we doing? Alright, we, we got this going again. Uh, I didn't forget to unmute myself. That's good. Alright. Um, right, so we were... We got the steel dust and obsidian dust to make more alamite dust. So we gotta pour more uh, aluminum. That is the other thing. So there was like <laughs> a couple of different concurrent threads, like I was trying to say before, before I lost the thread. Uh, one was making the rubber bars. The other was working on alamite to eventually make the uh, tool forge. I didn't realize the tool forge I should have realized, at some point I realized the tool forge needed alamite, I just maybe forgot how much needed. What else does it need? Blocks of iron. Do I still have blocks of iron? Oh good. <laughs> I, I guess I had those for a reason. It all It's all coming together. Um, tool station we can make, hammer. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, seared stone. I think there's actually one more thing of seared stone in. This is just like cobblestone. Okay, okay, cool, cool. We can do that. We can do all that. Let's head over to, let's check this really quick. Okay, we're still making steel. That's good. Keep that going. We. I am probably going to try to not be, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I am uh, going to be a little bit more cautious about how talkative I am. Uh, I definitely still a little bit recovering from being sick over the weekend. And I had to go get a, like a hauls to just soothe the throat a little bit. So I realized that I was kind of uh, <laughs> a little, a little throat irritation just from, uh, uh, the first hour of the stream, but I'll, I'll, I'll hold um, hold up. Yes, words. All right, we got one ingot in there. Should be able to get. All right, but we're gonna need more. Do I have? Did I stash any of the? Oh, I did. So the um. The ore berries, the aluminum ones. I think there's some over here still that I was going to eventually use to replant. We can also harvest the uh, ore berries that are over here. Oh, hey, uh, how do I say your name? Is that an I or an L? Inching too? Welcome in. How's it going? I got it. All right. That's great. How's your Monday been going? Good. Uh, better, better, and better. I uh, I was a bit sick over the weekend. I had to miss my uh, uh, coding stream that I normally do on Sunday mornings. Uh, your, your hair is giving TV girl. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Maybe I don't want to know what that means. <laughs> it never stays uh, quite as uh, dark of a red as I like for long. It, Tends to fade out, but uh, are you Gen Z? How do you not know? I am technically a millennial, for whatever that means. Uh, let's 
that's kind of inefficient. Let's do it this way first. Fill that up and then backfill. And more pour. Uh, why not dye your eyebrows too? Uh, I don't know. I because first you have to like lighten it, and I don't want, I don't know about getting uh, any kind of lightening agent near my eyes. It's not exactly an exciting prospect. I usually go to a place where they do that, and that's not something they uh, have ever suggested or offered. Oh, the bangs are close enough, yeah. Well, they aren't when they do them, right? They're, you know, all up. All right, so how many of these do I need? It's five, right? So I need 10, I need seven more. What is that emote? You always have such interesting emotes, Brainless. Just a sip. <laughs> Minecraft, what do you mean? This is uh, satisfactory. <laughs> it's heavily modded. <laughs> uh, let's see, are we gonna have enough here? Five, yes, cool. You've never played Minecraft. Interesting. I, uh... <laughs> I, I came across Minecraft when, uh... Like it was, it was just before Notch added the Nether. So uh, a while ago, let's say, and uh, it's been <laughs> a, a habit ever since. I came here because the guy in the last stream was bullying me about it. Oh no. Well, that's. Not good. Bullying you about Minecraft? Or bullying you about coming here? Uh, and Brainless says, I love Minecraft so much I am reading the Elixir manual. We could, uh... Hmm. I was actually thinking the other day about... Uh, not Elixir, but I was thinking about uh, Rust and Lua. And not ever wanting to have to write Lua ever again. Oh, we can't mortar this, can we? Okay, well, we'll take it over to the Master Eater. And making a uh, something that will transpile Rust to Lua for like some of the open computer craft stuff in this pack so they don't have to write Lua. Uh, no, you kept saying I was weird because everyone plays Minecraft. Well, that's not really true. Uh, there's, there's like... Um, I feel like there's a like an XKCD about that where like there's always there's always always gonna be something that's like new to someone. Uh, there's always gonna be something that you know someone's not heard of, right? There's just so many things out in the world. There's so much only so much time in the day, right? So yeah, there's a lot of things you're like within a culture. <laughs> yeah, brainless doesn't play Minecraft. And I think there's a lot of... Uh, I just gotta stop and sleep here. I don't want any mobs to spawn. Right. Whatever that is, I don't know. I need to learn both Rust and Elixir now. I, I don't know, Brainless is here for some reason. Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to macerate that. All right, how is this doing? Oh, it's out. All right, cool. So once this is done, uh, we'll have all the rubber bar we need. Are, are we <laughs> in the mother's basement? Uh, I mean, who knows? I have the green screen. There could be anything back there. This is this is not a basement. <laughs> All right, 
right, more aluminum dust is incoming. Uh, what else? <laughs> it's not an attic either. <laughs> I feel like that's a reference to something. I'm just not sure what. Uh, let's see. So are we done with, uh, yeah, we pulled down the, um, extractor. Maybe I'll put the compressor back so we can work on the other quest. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a reference to something <laughs> is what you're telling me. Ah, there's the extractor. Uh, it was an old Minecraft streamer's bit. He always used to scream to add his bomb. Okay. I, uh, I mean, I guess I've been watching people like on Twitch for quite a while at this point. And some of those people are playing Minecraft, even like vanilla. Well, that was a long time ago. It's not a lot. I don't, I mean, I don't like. I don't dislike vanilla Minecraft. It's it's kind of lost uh, a lot of its appeal, but I, I go back every once in a while just for something, you know, <laughs> simpler. But uh, yeah, I was so happy and upset today. I grabbed one app from the new stack, perhaps. Dockerize it in a day. Sadly, still have one issue. It runs on local stack with Lambda functions. The Lambdas are failing due to not finding the host name for something. What was that? Huh. Yeah, some kind of service. Joking, obviously, he, uh, cause he lived alone. Well, I see. Uh, what was it doing here? I was gonna compress something. Probably these. And this is not gonna do anything because I haven't hooked up the steam to it yet. Again. Gotta be careful where I stand. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. And that should start compressing. Please? Yes. Uh, issue for another day. Releases in two days. I see. So, are you saying you're doing the dockerization for the release? And you have two days left for it? but it's an issue for another day? Or are you saying it's not, it isn't the thing you were doing? No, no, okay. <laughs> that, I mean, maybe it's a release in an environment where, you know, it's Wild West and whatever is fine, but I, I, did, I have not previously gotten that impression of the situation. All right, we're, can't, oh, right, we, we didn't set the Steam button. Got to set the steam vent on these things. Um, and we can have a limited. Oh, can we vent here? Does that work? No. It sees through my uh, <laughs> uh, tricks. Uh, what is non-Minecraft? What? This is what non-Minecraft players do for fun. This is what non-Minecraft players do for fun. Uh, bu 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 bu. Oh, I see. I, I missed like several sentences. <laughs> uh, now I'm just doing it for fun. None of those words seem fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, if you catch my, my Sunday morning stream, that's the kind of thing I'm doing for fun uh, on stream is like messing around with code and Docker containers and, and various things. I want to make sure we have a proper development environment and we don't run things on bare metal. So I, I think for a brainless, at least, that's also like a work thing that's also fun for him in that context. Right. Yes, fun. Uh, I hate coding. I have class on it. I understand nothing. Well, that is... There's a lot to understand. Um, and I'm... I don't know. I think that I think there's a lot of different ways to go about learning coding and 
I don't know. I feel like I have not had a lot, like, long ago, uh, when I was trying to learn things from scratch, uh, I took a kind of a different path where I didn't really have people teaching me a lot of the, the fundamentals. I kind of picked up things here and there. And uh, so I can't really comment on the, yeah, <laughs> comments like that. Yeah, that could be true. Uh, some things, it just takes time to learn, like to internalize uh, really the foundational, like how to translate the, like how to frame up an idea of what you want to accomplish and turn it into something that can actually be code. That's, there's like a gap there that uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain <laughs> that. The Gatsby method. Are you, <laughs> I, I have not read The Great Gatsby. That's what that's called? Okay. I'm learning all sorts of references to things that I'm gonna have to look up now. All right, are we, are we doing things? Yeah, we're doing things. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna regret. Is it t the pop band? It's the first result for TV Girl. And then Gatsby Muffin. Normally, while I'm looking up there, that's my other screen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my uh, my my old headphones, which looked less like toys, um, were very expensive, and they lasted until they didn't. And I was like, "Well, these look like decent headphones that'll work." And they they also look kind of they were very inexpensive, but they've lasted proportional to the amount of money that I spent. They've lasted sufficient that it's been worthwhile. <laughs> God candy is good though. Uh, well, it's some kind of good. It tastes, it's, it's, it's sugar. All right, 40 rubber bars, we did it. So that is the quest. And then we'll take the loot bag because everyone likes to uh, have a, a gamba. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know nothing. The, I mean, there's certain pop culture things that I know, and some things I don't. Ah, cool. And now I do. Why did I also get onion soup? Nice. We've not eaten this yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, and we got that. So we should be able to make two more batches of alamite dust. <laughs> there we go, there we go. All right. Yeah, Brainless is here too. The one and only Brainless Society. Pool party underscore Fizz just followed. Hey, Pool Party Fizz. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Maybe you've just gotten here. Maybe you've been looking for a while. <laughs> Was that unusually loud? It didn't sound too loud to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we're going to go... We're going to process that. Hey! There you Engine go. two just followed. Maybe you could scare someone else now. Thank you for the follow. 
Um, let's see. What else? What's in here? Random things ended up in the bag. Oh, I need to not sneak and open that. Oh! Alright, those were the where the uh, other ore berries went when I harvested them. Alright, let's sleep. Gotta make sure to sleep in this pack. Otherwise, very hostile mobs. Infernal mobs will spawn. And uh, we will not be able to fight them. I mean, there will be some, you know, easier mobs, like normal vanilla Minecraft mobs, and those would be okay. But interspersed will be spiders that are, uh, that shoot uh, fireballs, or creepers that shoot exploding fireballs that blow up the terrain, and all sorts of things. Uh, gonna head to bed? It's like 7, I'm tired. Alright. Well, hey, thanks in Chink for, uh, coming by. <laughs> Glad you like the stream. Oh, you changed your color, yeah. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do some smelting. We've gotta, gotta keep the show on the road. <laughs> what is that? Ah. So many emotes. You've been green for like five years, would feel weird to change the color? Um, yeah, I don't know. My color was some color at some point, but I think I must have changed it fairly recently to red. But the other thing is, is that for the longest time, I was just a, I was a dedicated lurker on Twitch. Like, I didn't chat. I didn't say a thing. Uh, and that really changed once I started streaming. And I was on the other side, and people would, you know, I'd have one or two viewers. <laughs> but someone would say something, and it was amazing. And so ever since then... I've been much more active whenever I'm watching someone's channel, um, with some exceptions, but uh, saying stuff, yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, I just, I know it can be really meaningful. You know, you, it's more than just the number if someone says, hey. All right, that. <laughs> it sounds kind of sappy after I said it. Aw, thanks, Foxy. Uh, so the next thing to do, after this current set of things we're working on, and and reading that makes me makes me smile, Foxy. You're gonna make me tear up, so stop it. <laughs> uh, so we need to make wire, lots of wire. Uh, so we're gonna do that after I get this. Yeah, we can talk about that. Do we do we want to do more CK3 on Friday? I mean, between Foxy and Brainless, we got a huge uh, voting block of channel points, I think. Do we want to play some uh, multiplayer Crusader Kings 3 for the Friday stream? Oh, you only have 21k, you need more. Honestly, it's probably a good thing that you can't, like, buy channel points or exchange channel points, I guess. We could do, like, uh, oh yeah, right, you're moving? Wednesday across Texas. Yeah, you'll have to see how how things are the, uh, the at, your, at your destination. Yeah, you can gamble. You can exchange points. <laughs> uh, this could be fun. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna put all the alamite in. Let's do it. And I'll just stash the uh, other ore berries down here for now. Uh, do we have a plate cast? We don't have a plate cast. How do I how do I do things? We do have aluminum brass. You need more too. 
Well, I guess the only thing for me to do is... Well, right now there's nothing I can do. I can stream what I can stream, and that that's that. Uh, let's see, I need... Fortunately, we still have two blank patterns. One blank pattern. So we're gonna go into the stencil table. And we're gonna stencil a creeper face, a large plate pattern. And then... Make a uh, something we can't make. Do I not have more cobblestone? Maybe in my digger's backpack? Nope, sand. Alright, let's get some cobblestone, unless there's some in one of these boxes. Hey, Jake! How's it going? We were just talking about uh, the stream for next Friday, and maybe, uh, well, depending on how things shake up with uh, Foxy's move, maybe we would do some, uh, are you, did you, did you catch uh, any of uh, last Friday's stream, Jake? The, uh, the game part? I forget. It's been, it's been a long couple of days. <laughs> Since, uh, since Friday. Uh, where did it go? You did, yeah. So we were playing some CK3, Crusaders Kings 3. And, uh, we're talking about doing multiplayer. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess it's kind of a, a, the more the merrier sort of situation. I don't know if that'd be something you were interested in, but just kind of talking about it um is that is that hot joinable i'm brainless might know probably not you definitely come and watch like could we start a game and have people hot join later like mid game or is that more of a um you have to join at the start it is interesting all right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to pour aluminum brass. Now, I don't know. I think one is enough to pour on this thing to make the permanent cast. I could be wrong. Ah, I'm right. There we go. So now we have a large plate cast. Um, and then we need two alumite uh, plates. For the thing that we're gonna make. So there's one. Yeah, so we used eight. So good, after we make these two plates, we'll have enough, uh, we'll have eight, like eight ingots worth of uh, alumite left. Which is good because we need one to get credit for the quest. The Thaumium uh, tool rod is really interesting. As a reward. I don't know that I know enough to know if that's really worthwhile to be like, oh, we have to have that. But it looks really interesting. If I get you on this, this isn't gonna. Oh, here we go. Tool materials. Base durability. Mining speed. Oh, the tool rod can also be used for the bow and arrow. Hmm. I don't know, I might just take it and just keep it in my, uh, keep it around until, uh, oh, where'd it go? Oh, glitchy. Is it? Oh, it's in, it's in here now. Okay, cool. All right, so we can choose eight steel ingots one thaumium tool rod, a block of gold, or a loot bag. It, anything could be in the bag, right? Um, 
Like, how do we even get Thaumium? Yeah, Thaumium. Thaumium ingot. Smelting from things. It is a rare drop from a furious zombie that has 60 health. <laughs> See, these are the things I'm afraid of. Oh yeah, so here you go. Normally the way you get Thaumium is through the, through Thaumcraft, researching things and stuff I don't, I don't even know. So maybe we take it just for the sheer fact that it's gonna be a long time before we can get something else like it. Oh, and it's night. Elixir's default value for arguments is so weird. So like if it has arguments, but you don't pass them all in, not like explicit defaults, but if you like have arguments like on a function. I I did mention that I was, I was thinking about, oh, we could use uh, Elixir for some service at some point, but I've not actually looked at the, the syntax or anything at all yet. Uh, ooh. And, and it's two backslashes. What part is the default value? I mean, so huh, I'll say obviously, but uh, the bar is the name of the first parameter. And and then the, par the part in the, uh, the curly braces is the default value or is percent open close curly a value? That's the default value? What value is that? Uh, yeah, it seems kind of weird, but I guess all, all syntax looks weird if you're not familiar with it. Oh, that's a map. Sure. I guess. I see. So it's an empty map. Okay. Why not do like Python? Why, why even have the percent sign? Lists or linked lists? Sure. That's a choice. Uh, all right, so large plates because, oh, because it's a tuple. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess the empty tuple syntax in Python, isn't it? It's not just open close parent. You can have a, a comma too, right? So it's a little weird still. Whatever. All right, so we did the we did the quest, and that unlocked the next quest. And this this will this will carry on for the next five thousand hours. <laughs> uh, we gotta get all these things. We make a thing. We get a tool forge, which then allows us to make other things. Um, and then we also need to help figure out this whole wire situation. How do we make wire? If only we had a wire mill, that would be a lot easier. Without the wire mill, we need, oh, wire, cut, wire cutters and a plate. And we get one wire from a plate. Versus the, the, the wire mill, you get an ingot and you get two wires. It's like 4x more efficient. Okay, well. That's that's uh, that's what we get for not having technology. We pay the price in inefficiency. Well, yeah. So the the bowls for the food items that you get from quests disappear. You don't keep the bowls, right? Yes. But when we craft the food items, we get the bowls back. 
All right, so we have iron blocks because we needed to do those in a previous quest, probably to be here now. <laughs> like it was somewhere in here, it wanted us to make four iron blocks. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, tool station, so that's a tool station that is then sawed. We saw off the legs. Tool station is sticks and plank pattern and hammer and crafting station. Um, how do I feel about like I could? Oh, wait, 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 wait! Hold on. I have a tool station. I don't. I'm gonna take the tool station. Uh, and put it in the thing that actually has the, uh, the saw. Alright, and the saw actually lasted. <laughs> that, that's good. Uh, and then. Seared uh, Stone Slab. Oh, this is the part that I forgot about. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go back and cast that. What else do we need? That's it, huh? And then we combine them together. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's get this recipe out. Alright, and then put that in there, and those in there. And then iron blocks. There, we're only missing the slab. That's nice. Alright, now we run back. I was hitting my head uh, against the wall because I couldn't reach the booking portion of the flow on the new stack. Okay, so we're talk talking about uh, the stack. Reviewing the booking service, not implemented. So the, the booking portion of the flow is not implemented in the, in the new stack is what I'm hearing. Well, hey, better than the opposite problem of a bunch of stuff being implemented that we didn't actually need, I guess. In, in some ways that's worse, right? <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to pour out something that I think is in here still. Seared stone. All right, but we only have an ingot. So we need cobblestone. Uh, and it's commented out everywhere. <laughs> I see. Oh, so wait, there is implementation, it's commented out? Hmm. Strange. Also, I guess I should figure out how the backpack works. Right, so here's this. If I do this, that locks it, maybe? Okay, good. Let's 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 do that for a little bit on both of these until I'm ready to actually like mine. Okay. So that goes in there. So what I've learned, I think I mentioned this the last stream, but don't touch this. This so you'll notice like the thing that hovers over there, and you see in the um, right right there where it says 480 out of 4800 mil, uh, millibuckets of molten tin well molten tin is kind of hot and this is a metal pipe full of molten metal it's kind of hot uh, I'm pretty sure that if I were to touch this before I could move <laughs> away uh, we would be adding a new head because that's where two of those came from anyway uh, what I want to do is I want to collect this casting beast unless I have another one already over here. I do. All right, never mind then. I'll do it the easy way. So I'm pretty sure like this pipe is safe to touch because it's empty. Anyway. All 
All right, so we got, ooh, this is not gonna be enough then. So I guess like, I think this is not gonna be enough. It's gonna fill up. Oh, interesting. I guess it's like 300 something. I could have looked at the numbers to find out exactly how much I needed, but that, Where's the fun in that? It's like just knowing the answer. Anyway. Hmm. Hold on, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, let's see, phrasing. I'm, I'm going to put this cough drop in my mouth for a little bit. So we have Seared Stone, which apparently there was a quest. I know I had one of these before uh, because there was a quest for the smeltery. Oh well, it's fine. I don't need this ain't cast on me though. Yeah, yeah, what quest was that? Let's talk about that. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. I, I should go through and claim some of the other quests. But, oh yeah, it's this one. So this is an area that I think we do need to um, spend some time on at some point in the future. This uh, Building Better Bases chapter. I'm just kind of, I'm not going to be too worried about doing anything really fancy design-wise until we're at the point where I can build, like I can manufacture blocks in an automated way. Uh, because I haven't been by that before. So yeah. Ooh, look, we get a lava bucket as a reward. Well, I'm not gonna t carry that right now because that, that would be annoying to carry. All right, we're going back. Uh, but there's all sorts of things in there, like uh, builders wants that let us place like a row or um, like an area of blocks all at once. Uh, other kind of decorative blocks and things that are like um, slopes and other non non cubic block things in there. So uh, that'll be something to look at in the future. Although I think. There's also going to be a limit to how much we can use that kind of stuff before we introduce, like, uh, uh, potential performance problems, maybe? Okay, so I need my saw out, I think. And we saw this in half, and we get two of those. The saw has 200 durability left. That's fine. Alright, so now we can make a tool forge. Tool forge. There it is, two forge. And so now this lets us make, so the, the previous thing 
uh, we could only make some of these tools, right? We can make the, uh, the shovel and the hatchet and the pickaxe and stuff. But now we have like bows and crossbows and hammers. Uh, as well. So that that's something that I don't know if I'm going to prioritize doing that on stream, but some of the gear stuff I will want to do like for mining. It's like mm, excuse me, to uh, get resources uh, to move us along. But yeah, back to here. Also, let me Oh, that was the, we're, we're getting close to the point where we can actually, like, we've uh, kind of exposed all of the edges here. So this is the quest we just did, and we got some more coins and loot bags. So let's take those. Um, and then, so this is where, hey, you should make the excavator. So the excavator lets you dig out like a three by three area. You dig one block and it digs all around it at the same time. Uh, crossbow, it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, and then the hammer is like the excavator, but it's for things that you uh, would use a pickaxe for. So like stone and ores and stuff. And there's also a lumber axe. Now, you can cut down an entire tree in one hit. So I might look at, I might look at just like making sure I have the materials to make this and make the parts. I don't know if I'm going to need this quite yet. We are going to need that soonish because we're going to make, we're, I don't know, because I'm hoping to do more, more farming stuff. We'll, we'll see. We'll see uh, what happens. So I do want to kind of, uh, right, so wire, like we need wire, uh, so red alloy wire the hard way is wire cutter and red alloy plate. And we need three wires, so we need three plates, which is very unfortunate. <laughs> so we have, a plate, there we go. So the plates right now to make, I think we have an option Oh yeah, the forge hammer, right? So with the forge hammer, we can take three and get to make two plates versus before it was two to one. So three to two is better than two to one. Uh, looks like we're done with the uh, steam compressor as well. So let's pick that up. doing so well but little little cough all right so we also got the uh, raw iron that we're working on so that should be a quest better than iron and hey look now we get a hammer and a wrench not a way to uh, oh it says right there hold left click oh no that's describing the wrench never mind so we have a real inventory problem here uh, we also have a large bacon sandwich we've eaten one of these before though apparently uh, let's see Rubber dust can go in there. All right, let's let's dump some things out of our inventory. Yeah, you want a large bacon sandwich right now? Yeah, it isn't that. Hmm. <laughs> it says large meal for men and manly women. It's uh. How do we make that? At least it was a coffin, not a cough fell into another and another and another. That's fair. Yeah. I'm not, it's not, it's not been that bad this weekend. Um, 
the coughing has been manageable. Uh, it's been more of the kind of just like tiredness and the, uh, yeah, anyway, we don't, we don't need to get into all that. It's mostly over. So yeah, it's just, uh, just some sliced baguette and cooked pork chop. Yeah, sleeping, sleeping through lots of things. Which, uh, it's not all bad. The sleep was nice. Mm. Okay, so... Right, we're doing a thing. We're doing a thing. We are getting the forge hammer again. So this is why I do need more space. But also need more, like, steam production more water, more more all the things. You save the Underdark and Shroom stuff for me? Oh, nice. Yeah, I've not really seen... I've seen so little. I've not played <laughs> a lot. Uh, hey, Alex. How's it going? How are you doing today? I'm struggling to remember what I was doing. Uh, so we're going to take three of these to make two plates there we go you are late hey better late than ever you did miss some uh some hubbub earlier it was a big uh raid i think a lot of those folks might have taken off but uh i think we probably hit the uh the <laughs> The, the, like, uh, what do you call it? The maximum number of people viewing this stream at once with that raid. <laughs> uh, oh, right, right, right. So we gotta, um, we gotta put the, uh, the vent on it. There you go. And plates. And it's night. Let's sleep. I see on that mini map there's some kind of mob out there somewhere. Oh, it's way over there. It's a witch. Way yonder. That's fine. It's not a very impressive map if we're inside. I mean, it's not super impressive either way, but, you know, here, here's, here's the world as it is through my beginnings of industrialization. We got some farm stuff going on over there. We got our river crossing and the, where the, uh, the minesweeper dungeon thing was. Treehouse over here. Uh, would you know any GTA story mode mods? Not a one. <laughs> Um, I, I've never really done any GTS stuff in a long while. You want to get into that? Uh, the first person I could think of, well, there's other people, but, you know, Marxy had been streaming a lot of that. Maybe he will again. Uh, and Rayless says something as well. Uh, where's my wire cutters? Are they also in here? Let's let's get this this going as well. Not like that. Like this? No, like this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I was trying to configure Vim with Elixir. Now I realize Lazy Vim has an extra for it. Aha! Oh, like fly mode and spun cars and that. Um, Hmm. I mean, there might just be, like, console commands, like, you know, like, cheats in the game or something to do that. I don't know. One, two, three. So that's, like, six ingots of red alloy to make three wires. It's very expensive. Like a mod menu? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, they cost money to get a good one. 
How are they made? Do you know? Maybe you can code something. Ah, yeah. You'd rather make one. Maybe there's... Uh, I'm, I mean, for anything, there's got to be a website somewhere. Something talking about how to do it. Yeah, but in what language? It's probably Lua. Alright, so we got three red alloy wires. So we want to make seven tin wires. So this is the same deal where a tin wire, we use a tin plate. So we need 14 tin. Uh, let's see, this is, is this tin? Not a clue. Yeah, me either. These are iron plates. Those are steel plates. That's silver. Iron plates, bronze plates. Do I not have any tin here anymore? No, it's right there. I don't know why when I'm trying to pick up stuff. Like, it's, it's in this slot right here that I have highlighted. See? I mainly just play games, not mix stuff to enjoy them. Uh, that's fair. Uh, success. I have to go to definition to hover. Interesting. This is in lazy vim for Elixir. This is 10, right? Yeah. So I need 14. Wait, 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 wait. It's less than that. Because I'm going to use... I'm going to use the forge hammer. Just one line in the config. Of course. So we're going to use the forge hammer on the ingot. I'm learning. So three makes two. I need seven. So I, I need, still need 12 ingots. Well, at least now that the ingots are visible in my hand, I can see them. I can continue to see them. There, that, that sentence makes sense. All right, so this is much cheaper than doing it by hand without the machine. It will be even cheaper in the future. So that's, that's kind of uh, from what I've seen so far in this, and then also from seeing other people play, that's kind of the, the trend, right, is that you uh, you lack technology. It's very expensive. You got to gather a bunch of resources. As you build up technology, things become the same thing becomes less expensive to make um, often. And then you know, then to move up, you need to build other machines. You have to build other things that require more resources, and that just kind of continues to kind of snowball until. Uh, we're building Stargates. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something here. So 12. No, that's right. I just miscounted. The uh, second hour has gone really fast. All right. Oh, wait. Eight was enough. I did not miscount. I counted correctly. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, 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 oh. Let's get those wires cut. Oh, that's not the right, right way. Is it this way? Nope. Is it this way? Which way is it? I am confused. All right. Twitch is like popping up three different things on my screen saying is uh, an ad is about to start, but uh, we still have like two minutes. All right. How do I, how do I make the, this wire? Come on, tell me game. Okay, that's not gonna tell me. What about this way? Tin wire. Oh, it's on the right hand side. 
It's the air. There we go. All right, we did it. Seven. All right, so three of those, seven of those, 24 copper wires, eight fine copper wires, and then we do the cables. So the cables are just the wires plus rubber for insulation. Uh, copper wires, it's the same deal, right? So it's the copper plate, uh, one to one. So we need 24 copper plate. So 24, we get two, so we need 12 batches, 12, so 36, we need 36 copper. It'd be really great if I could pick up and see, there we go, 36 copper. 